Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. God is good. Hallelujah. My name is Wendy Mpendulo. I'm with Mr. Donald Annie, my husband. Yeah, we are here today to testify of the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. God of this ministry is alive. Hallelujah. Amen. I've seen it in our lives. Yes. Uh, first time we came here, it was in January 8th. So many times we've been invited to come to this ministry. We could not make it. One of the things that could not make us not to make it was money to come. Money to come from Pretoria to come here. We could not make it. But God, in his infinite mercies, made sure that what he has prepared and proposed, it will happen. Hallelujah. So the day that we had to come here, it was also even a day wherein we are also not even thinking we are going to come because it was through another person who said, hey, woman of God, we need to go to a living church. And I said, ah, I, I, I'm going somewhere, but I don't think you should go there. Let us go to another where I know this, this place, things are happening. And then when we called, I called the lady, then she said that, no, uh, which church is it? And then I said, no, the church is uh, Shekanak Doras Ministries. I don't know it. I know that it's in Jobek. But a brother of mine is coming, is going there, Brother Victor. So in the morning, when we were supposed to be coming, the person said to me, okay, we already proposed with my husband that we are going to come here. Then in the morning, as you are supposed to go, expecting the lady to give her directions to where we're going to meet in the morning, she said to me, no, don't go there. You can't go there. They stay long. It's going to take too much time for you. I said, ah, but we need, we need help on our side. Can you clap for Master Jesus? <laughs> Shekinah Glory of Faith Ministry, we don't stay long. Hallelujah. We dismiss early, very early. Yes. My sister, we Hallelujah. don't stay long. Yes, that is what she we said. We stay as God directs. As direct. uh -huh. Because uh -huh. that's what we did. This what? is the presence of God. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. So, as she said that, we on our side, we said, we need God. It's not about staying or whatever. It's about our lives changing. This is the time that God is, is prepared for us. We are going either not. Even if it stays until tomorrow, this is where we want to Amen and amen. amen. Can we clap for Master Jesus? My sister, when you come to Shekana Glory of Faith Ministry, what were the problems you are going through before coming to Shekana Glory of Faith Ministry? Thank you very much, sir. One of the problems that was really affecting us, it was stagnation, poverty. Like I said, that it was even difficult to have money to come here. Poverty, sickness, body pains. Even on that day, when, when, when we were supposed to come, as, as we were given the directions and how to come, my, body, my own body was full of heat. It was like, I mean, hot, hot water. Everything was painful. And um, it was stagnation, indebtedness. Um, actually, one of the major things was that we were owing in our factory for about three months. We have a factory. We run a factory, a manufacturing company where we do snacks and healthy on the go tasty feeling snacks, peanut butters and other things, trading. So on that in that period, I, I said, Lord, we need to help us. We need to, we, I know where we're going. We're going to find a solution. And when we went, came here, we were owing for about three months in the factory. We have not paid. And we were so much, the rejection, people were not even interested. When you talk to somebody, you know, somebody already knows that you're going to need money or something. You're always talking this sobby story. So uh, it was those things that were really affecting us a lot. And um, we came here. When we came here on the first day, the way we were so hungry for the presence of God. We came here, and when we came here, we, we didn't even know the procedure. We just, we saw prayer line, and then we just wanted to just go, but there's procedure and order in this place. So we, I was praying in my heart, in my spirit, saying, Lord, please locate me. I cannot go back the same because my life now is too much. If the third month comes, this landlord will come. If everything we've been building, it's not the first business. It's a long story. Our head has been holding down. They were, okay, we came and then prophet was praying for everybody in the church by the grace of God. He laid our hands upon us 
And as soon as he laid the hand upon my head, I felt some kind of calmness. The, in fact, it just started to be heat. About Can you clap for Master Jesus? <clears throat> my sister, you mentioned that uh, you were experiencing sickness. Where have you gone to seeking for solution? What did the doctor say? Because when you are sick, there must be a diagnosis. What did the doctor say about your sickness? Oh, sickness is it's mainly about my husband and myself, of course. I've gone to doctors. I've got an uh, issue of his menstruation. That one is not for here today. But the one that I came for, it was an issue of heat of the body. I had uh, been taking medication, taking Atkodol, taking all For how long have you been taking medication for the body heat? I've been taking it, I think, uh, almost every day. And after your encounter with the prophet the day he laid a hand on you, what happened today? I was able to, to, to be free and I did not take it as often as I did. Can you clap for Master Jesus, children of God? <clears throat> and presently, you were, initially you said you were having problems with your factory. After the prayer from the servant of God, yes, thank you very what much. is happening now? Immediately, as I got the prayer of the man of God, when we went out, we went out with our spirits high because when you come here, your life changes, your prayer life changes. You have so much hope and so much joy that you can't even explain. Even if you don't have any money with you, you will just be excited. So when we end out, as we slept, a payment that we've been waiting for for so long came through and we were able to... Can you clap for Master Jesus, children of God? Sister, for how long have you been waiting for this payment? Sure, I think since um, July. It was July. It was supposed and to be. And how long did it take for God to answer your prayers after visiting Shekana Glory of Faith Ministries? Uh, it was just after the immediately after being Can there. you clap for Master Jesus? <clears throat> Indeed, we serve the God of now, the God that answers prayers now. Our sister has been waiting for payment for quite some months, days, weeks gone, no hope. And she came here, she was located, and after the prayers, that long awaited payment came through. Can we once again clap for Master Jesus? <laughs> sister, you had a lot of things to tell us, but because of time, we need to run fast. Um, now that God has healed you, God has restored you, how happy are you? Man of God, I, it, indeed, the time is not enough. There's so many things that have, God has done in this place for us. If I can tell you, even the payment that we received back, there were still some outstanding documents that were still supposed to come before it gets paid. Those, those documents are not needed. And then from there, on the day of the payment I made, the landlord was already locking people's house, people's factories, and mine was not even touched. So, really, it's, it's joy is, is, is very little to, it's a small word to express. It's more than joy. God has been too faithful to us. People are in, now, our business, we have been struggling with even just getting people to buy. Now people are calling us. They, it's like a veil has been lifted up. It's like a veil. Sister, um, how can you once again describe the power of God in this house? Oh, God. God of Shekinah, glorious ministries. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It is a powerful God. Na, na, na bangba God. <laughs> He's very good and sweet. He's too good. I mean, you come here, your spirit already, you find that calmness, that thing, uh, things are working out. You know, there are so many other things we want to come and testify for, but I said, Lord, today I will not let it go because I wanted to do more because this one, other people who are coming in, they must know it is happening. It's happening. It's working. It's working. God of this place is watching all over every, every person who's here. There is that calmness. Things, there's a chain that breaks. Amen. I mean, I don't know how to it. Sister, after receiving prayer from the servant of God and uh, you went back home, what did you do? What did you learn from Shakana Glory First Ministry that, you, that helped you? Maybe it increased your faith 
As you moved into your factory, what did you do after receiving prayer from here? I, uh, there's so many things, eh? Like, there's so many things. First of all, the, the love that is in the place, the, the order, and uh, more than anything, I've learned the, the relationship with God is increasing more and more. I've been continuously, um, uh, um, I've been following um, the word of God, but when you come here, the opportunity of getting the prayers during the day, in the morning, and in the evening also helps you to increase your prayer life. You are now able to, to actually pray the more. Can I clap for Master Jesus? So actually you've learned to use your prayer point and you've learned to anoint yourself. Have you learned those things as one of the factors that have increased your faith, that have opened doors for you? Yes. How did you, how did you anoint yourself? Uh, we anointed ourselves before we sleep in the morning and also in the office. Uh, we, before we open, when, when you open, we pray and yeah, we anoint ourselves. And after the anointing, Today is a day of joy. The doors have been opened. Is that and, correct? And, strength, and more than anything, it's strength to pray the more. Amen because and when amen. you're a Christian, it doesn't mean that you will not face challenges, but you get more strength to pray the more. And I think I appreciate the fact that there's prayer lines, the LCPs. So when you are facing a problem, you are able now to just go into the online and be able to get your spirit lifted up because there's so many challenges as a Christian. And also the evangelists that are here, they are very welcoming and teaching you in the ways of God. Thank you. Thank you, my sister. Let me. My brother, once again, I welcome you. Please, once again, introduce yourself and share with us what God has done for you. Praise the living God. My name is Donald Annie. Originally from Nigeria, but residing here in South Africa, Pretoria. She has said it all, but I would just want to testify the goodness of God upon my life, upon our lives. You know what? Pro bro the problem that brought me here is the problem of diabetes and high blood pressure. It's not an easy thing for me. You know, in our factory, I'm the one that. Make sure that everything is in order. Uh, since I have diabetes, I can't do the things that I'm supposed to do again. I can't even eat what I'm supposed to eat. So the strength is not there anymore. And another thing is poverty, stagnation. You know, when you are doing your product, you are not seeing your money. Even increase the high blood pressure. Every day feeling pain. But I know that it's only God that can change my life. Amen. Amen. So, but I've been looking for a place to worship. In my former church, I know I'm the one of the people that intercede in church. My but brother, when you come to Shakana Glory of Faith Ministry, which is the presence of God, what was your first encounter? And when the servant of God prayed for you, what happened? When prophet come closer to me, he said that, uh, first of all, he gave a prophecy. He said that, uh, that uh, it's my wife that giving me. I feel very bad. But I said, no, this is the solution grand. I know that my life is not going to remain the same again after I have a encounter with prophet. So when he prayed for me, the pain disappeared that day because before I do feel pain here and my chest here, it's like my heart is pumping too much. And my hair, I'm feeling a serious pain here. I can't sleep in the night. It's the immediate prophet touched me that day, the pain disappeared. Can you clap for Master Jesus? <laughs> so you are telling us that Instantly, when the servant of God prayed for you and touched you, the pain in your head and the pain in your chest disappeared instantly. Yes, sir. Amen and amen. And my brother, what is going on in your factory now as the Spirit of God has stepped in there 
Your wife told us that poverty has vanished, stagnation has vanished. What is currently going on there now? You know, what the Lord is doing for us, I can't count them all. Because yesterday, we are here in Santin yesterday, having a meeting with a group of people that want to work with us. That's something they told me that day. Because I remember the word of prophet, he said that you will begin to give to your wife, not your wife to give to you. I took that word serious because I'm the one that giving before. I give people before, but now I can't be here in South Africa. People have been giving to me. My wife will be giving to me. So he gave me that prophecy. I took it very serious. So when we made them yesterday, they said, no. I will help you. I will make sure that everything goes well. Amen and amen. <clears throat> My brother, concerning the diabetes and the high blood pressure, how are you feeling now that God has healed you? Are you still having that pain? Are you still having that headache? What are the things God has done to you concerning your health? Since the prophet touched me, since that day, I never take any tablet or any. Can you clap for Master Jesus? <clears throat> My brother, there are. Since you are seated present here and there are viewers all over the world who have been going through this sickness, diabetes, going through high blood pressure, what did doctor tell you about diabetes? What did doctor tell you about high blood pressure? Are they curable diseases? The, the day I met the doctor after, because they took me to the hospital with ambulance. I don't even know where I am that day. But uh, the next month, when I made the doctor, he said that you continue to take the injection, the insulin, and the tablet. And that very day, I regretted it. He said, ah, it's like you are not correct. You need to take you to a psychiatrist because you don't know what you are going through. If you know what you are going through, you know that you need to continue to take the medication. I said to her, I reject it in Jesus' name. All those things are stranger, and stranger must go. So I left that day, but... I, will, I want to tell you that there is nothing God cannot do. Amen and amen. <clears throat> hey brother, to cut this story short, today you are testifying that no more diabetes, no more high blood pressure. That you are totally healed by the God of now, the God of Shekana Glory Faith Ministry. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Can you put your hands together? <clears throat> Let us appreciate the Master of Alabster. The healer of healer is here. Amen and amen. My brother, it's a wonderful time coming to share your wonderful testimony with the children of God here. Present, having listened to the good things God has done for you and your family, what is your word of advice for those who are on the prayer line today who might be having issues with diabetes or high blood pressure and other forms of sicknesses? There are other people seated here present who are having setback in their businesses, in their career. What is your word of encouragement to people who were in your previous category before you come here? Praise the living God. My advice goes this way. Jesus is the life. It's like when fish is out of water, that fish will die. If you have Jesus, you have life. So I advise you to put your trust in God. Put your trust in Jesus. He has the power. He has the power to change your situation. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know the kind of problem that you brought here. But I want to assure you that Jesus is here. Amen and problem. amen. Mama, we can see you there. Is a, if we allow you, you will continue the service from today till next week. But we cannot allow you because of time. Please, we see that God has touched every area of your life, your family. Every facet, every corner has been touched by God. And that is why you are here starting before the sense present is fine. So what is your word of advice? Because you have narrated your story and there are people who are in this category right now. 
please kindly encourage them and tell them the road to take to come out of this situation. Hallelujah. Yes, I wish there can be a day for testimonies. <laughs> okay, what my advice is that um, when the prophet uh, is giving you, if you come to a, a place like uh, Shekinah Glorious Ministries, and the prophet talks to you, heed to the word, just eat it and claim it. Yes, some things may look like they are not going to happen, but claim it, claim it as inside your spirit, fight with your spirit for that word that was spoken because he did not talk to everyone, he talked to you. And believe, like my husband said, that we, we need to believe Jesus. Believe that Jesus is using that person, that, that man of God, that person at that time. Amen and, hold on and to the word amen. And read your word of God and, and continue to pray. Amen. Without ceasing. Amen. My brother, my sister, we thank you so much on behalf of Shekana Glory Faith ministry members here present and viewers all over the world. We thank you for this wonderful testimony you shared with us here to encourage us and to tell us that God is here and that God is present and Shekinah is the presence of God. We encourage you to look unto the giver of this testimony and not the source of the testimony. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we visit you more and more. Testimony, testimony, breakthrough, success, promotion, will be your portion as you do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And